On the other hand, females are narrower in the shoulders and waist, with longer legs and a shorter torso. 33. However, in the 6th dynasty, the male figures lose their muscularity and their shoulders narrow. The eyes also tend to get much larger. 29. In order to help maintain the consistency of these proportions, the Egyptians used a series of eight guidelines to divide the body. They occurred at the following locations, the top of the head, the hairline, the base of the neck, the underarms, the tip of the elbow or the bottom of the rib cage, the top of the thigh at the bottom of the buttocks, the knee, and the middle of the lower leg. 33. From the soles of the feet to the hairline was also divided into thirds, one third between the soles and the knee, another third between the knee and the elbow, and the final third from the elbow to the hairline. The broad shoulders that appeared in the 5th dynasty constituted roughly that one third length as well. 33. These proportions not only help with the identification of representations and the reproduction of art but also tie into the Egyptian ideal of order, which tied into the solar aspect of their religion and the inundations of the Nile. 29. A statue of Menkir with Hathor and Anput from the Egyptian Museum in Cairo demonstrates a group statue of Greywack with Old Kingdom features and proportions. 34. Though the above concepts apply to most, if not all, figures in Egyptian art, there are additional characteristics that applied to their presentations of the king. Their appearance was not an exact rendering of the king's visage, though kings are somewhat identifiable through looks alone. Identification could be supplied by inscriptions or context. 29. A huge, more important part of a king's portrayal was about the idea of the office of kingship. 29. Which were dependent on the time period. The Old Kingdom was considered a golden age for Egypt, a grandiose height to which all future kingdoms aspired. 35. As such, the king was portrayed as young and vital, with features that agreed with the standards of beauty of the time. The musculature seen in male figures was also applied to kings. A royal right, the jubilee run which was established during the Old Kingdom involved the king running around a group of markers that symbolized the geographic borders of Egypt. This was meant to be demonstration of the king's physical vigor, which determined his capacity to continue his reign. 36. This idea of kingly youth and strength were pervasive in the Old Kingdom and thus shown in 3rd dot. 31. The sculpture was a major product of the Old Kingdom. The position of the figures in this period was mostly limited to sitting or standing, either with feet together or in the striding pose. Group statues of the king with either gods or family members, typically high's wife and children, were also common. 30. It was not just the subject of sculpture that was important, but also the material, the use of hard stone, such as gneiss, grey whack, cyst, and granite, was relatively common in the Old Kingdom. 37. The color of Feston had a great deal of symbolism and was chosen deliberately. 29. Four colors were distinguished in the ancient Egyptian language, black, green, red, and white. 37. Black was associated with Egypt due to the color of the soil after the Nile flood, green with vegetation and rebirth, red with the sun and its regenerative cycle, and white with purity. 29. The statue of Menkir with a th and Anput is an example of a typical Old Kingdom sculpture. The three figures display frontality and axiality, while fitting with the proportions of this time period. The Greywack came from the eastern desert in Egypt, 38, and is therefore associated with rebirth and the rising of the sun in the East. Gallery. King Khufu Statue at Cairo Museum. 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 Greywack statue of Menkure and Queen Kamira Nepti II at the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. 
gray black statue of Min Kyo and Queen Kamira Nipti II at the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. Rarit and Nofred statues at Cairo Museum. Rarit and Nofred statues at Cairo Museum. Kappa around 2500 BC. Kappa around 2500 BC. Major Order Mokeki statue 6th Dynasty at Louvre Museum. Major Order Mokeki statue 6th Dynasty at Louvre Museum. References. Grimmel, Nicholas, 1994. A History of Ancient Egypt. Huila Blackwell, the...